Here we have a pre-owned 2017 Cadillac CTSV. This one comes with the carbon black package, so we get carbon fiber all over the place. I'll try and point it out for you all. But this one comes in phantom gray metallic, then we get jet black perforated leather interior. And the powertrain consists of a 6.2 liter supercharged V8 engine, made into an eight speed automatic transmission. And I'll leave the specs in the description below, but coming around to the front end here, love that look especially with that carbon fiber front splitter we have our hid headlamps along with led daytime running lights signature lights and i just this has a special place in my heart i've always loved the ctsv especially this body style just always look fantastic in my eyes but now here we have the 19 inch dark alloy wheels and then we have the gold brake calipers as well just a fantastic look. This build is beautiful. Now we get passive keyless entry on all four doors. Power door lock controls here. We have carbon fiber trim here. One touch automatic up and down windows on all four doors, rear window and child lock there. And then we can left side, right side or offset the power mirrors and adjust those there. And those do have blind spot monitors in them. So good size storage pocket here in the door panel. And then we do have a 10 speaker Bose sound system, which is really in your face, pretty loud. And I like that. But I love that this whole door panel is soft touch. So we have that suede here, that carbon fiber, and then everything else is like soft touch. But electronic parking brake, pull up to engage, hit the brake, press down and disengage. And then we do have our heads up display controls here, engage cluster brightness controls there. We'll pop the hood for later. We have a power tilt telescope steering wheel. And then I believe these are gonna be 20 way power seats for the front with power lumbar support. And then we do have thigh support as well. So you can pull that back and forth. But I have that seat up front adjusted for someone of my size being 6'3 with longer legs. So let's check out this rear leg room. And a huge shout out to Cadillac of Murfreesboro for allowing me to review this CTSV today. I'll leave a link below to it in the description below. And the only thing I wanna go ahead and let everybody know is this was stickered wrong so it doesn't have a certification with it but let's go ahead and hop in here Ooh. so that's kind of my leg room there i don't want to put both feet in i can't necessarily fit but your kids will fit back here just fine or shorter adults or maybe i could scoot that seat up a little bit but love that we have these suede seat back pockets on both sides and then this one does have i think it's a seating package i'll show you the build sheet in a minute but that gives you access to the tri-zone climate control so we can adjust the mode where the airflow is going here and then adjust the temperature here. And then we also have three-stage heated outboard seats. And then we have a 12 volt right in here. And then the middle seat will fold down. Cup holders are there. Little storage area here. And then you can pull that down and run smaller and long objects through the middle without folding the seat down. And then there is the UltraView sunroof there. Grab handle here. I love these hooks because you could probably hang four metal hooks on there if you want to, or maybe a couple of plastic ones if they're small enough. But I love all the suede in the roof line and so on and so forth. But as we come around to the back end here, again, carbon fiber and the diffuser here, and then that spoiler, just a great look. And I love the rumble here. And this one has just a little over 45,000 miles. So it's been pampered as well. The average fuel economy it's showing me is like 19 miles per gallon, which is insane. So it definitely wasn't being thrashed around but I'm definitely gonna give it something when I take it out on the test drive. And then the tire inflator kit's right there. And I like that we have the side pocket here and we can put stuff that we don't want going all over the place, but still in the trunk, we can leave that right there. And then down here, that's how you get to your battery if you need to jump it off for whatever reason. But we do have a fuel filler here and of course premium 
it's pretty much required especially if you want to get that full power output but if you want to fold these seats down pull this button here that'll fold flat you can run longer objects from the back to the front if you ever need to do that top tethers are up there and then you have your anchors here for your car seat which i believe yeah it's way back in there that's interesting huh And then here's our front passenger seat. And as you can see, it's pretty adjustable. I think it's four-way power lumbar and then seat back. I don't know what that does, it's pretty interesting. A lot of adjustability there, but glove box button right here. Owner's manuals are still in this one. And again, here's the build sheet. And a huge shout out again to Cadillac of Murfreesboro for allowing me to review this car. I'll leave a link below in the description if you're interested in purchasing. Definitely, again, like I said, one of my favorite cars. But you can pause anywhere to take a closer look at some of the options here. And actually, I wanna go into the options because of the packages. We have a luxury package there performance seat and cluster package there and then the seating package so that's how you get a lot of this stuff and then that carbon black package right there so that's how you get those 19 inch wheels which i think make a big difference because i feel like 20s would maybe be too much or maybe ride a little too harsh but these 19s look great on this car and it still doesn't look like the rim is too small But there's that 6.2 liter supercharged V8. And then you have that carbon fiber right there in the hood scoop. But let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat. Ooh. Excuse the grunt, it's a little step down, but we do have a nice leather wrapped steering wheel here. And we can heat that button here. It's held up pretty nicely, just a few scuffs throughout the top of the steering wheel there, but for the most part, still feels nice. But over here, we have the Cadillac Q screen. So we do get AM, FM, and XM radio. And then for Bluetooth, we get that audio. And to pair the device, you just do that, and then it'll kind of walk you through it on your phone. And then we do have a navigation system here. And you can type in your destination or use voice recognition to go ahead and set that up. And I like that we have the home button down here. We can get back to everything. You do have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto wire compatibility there. And then these are all your shortcuts of nav, audio. And then as I scroll through, we have the rear climate you can control from up here. You can get access to your traffic as well as Fox Sports and all of that when you have an XM subscription. And then weather as well, but your dual zone climate controls you can either use on the screen here and you can get mostly everything down here. Now the sync is what you have to do through the screen, but you can sync and unsync, or you can unsync by just adjusting the temperature there, or you can just do both of them manually. And AC, you cut that on and off there and then fan direction is controlled there as well. Everything else is pretty much down here. So fan speed, you can use this, or you can use right here, and then you can cut the whole system off there, cut it back on, then your auto mode is there, and you can turn that down by adjusting the fan speed. And then to turn everything else on you, off, you just have to choose fan direction and everything, because it's an automatic system for fan direction, for the temperature, and then for the AC as well. But I'm using the three-stage cooled seats now. We get heated and cooled for the driver front passenger. And then we can mute there, hold the power button to power down the whole system. And then we do have the automatic parked system there, parking sensors, hazards right there, and then our lane departure 
system is there. But for the shifter, pull the lever, reverse, neutral drive, manual modes right here. So there are the front cameras there. We can turn those guidelines on and there's the backup camera there. Same thing, but the guidelines follow you as you turn the steering wheel when you turn there. And then cup holders are right here. So you can pull that there. It's motorized, so you just have to tap it either way. It's gotta give a little pull and it'll start. And then little pocket there, 12 volt. And then you do have several drive modes. So you can go through your tour, sport, track, or snow and ice. And things change as you adjust them. And then we have our center console cubby space in here. It's a weird spot, but that's where you have your three prong. I think it's a 115 or 120 volt household plug-in. And then you have a 12 volt, a USB-A, and an aux input down in there. And I'm gonna let back the sunshade, and as I'm doing that, I'll show you the controls here. And we have a power rear shade as well. And then a garage door transmitter, sunshade. And then we can one touch slide that roof back. And then we do have the premium dome lights as well and OnStar's up there too. And then here we have our rear camera mirror. Take one more quick look, quick look at the back seat there. And then here we do have our wireless charging pad and the USB-A input kind of hidden behind the radio controls here. And you kind of have to give it a little push to lower it back down. But I'll show you how to do that again. So pretty neat. But back to the steering wheel here, we do have the magnesium paddle shifters behind. And then here we have the turn signal stock. Headlamp controls are here, put in auto mode, and then you can toggle your IntelliBeam there. And then you can flash the lights on and off there. And then you can just flash at others. And then you have windshield wiper controls here, one time, intermittent low, high, you can adjust your intermittent here. And then pull up here for the front wiper fluid. Voice recognition buttons here, gap adjust for the forward collision alert there, Bluetooth button, um, cruise control, excuse me. And then you can go through your track list, radio station presets here, volume controls here, and then you can use this to scroll through and then toggle up and down your gauge cluster. So view can be changed there. And that's where the fuel economy, 18.3 miles a gallon, it's pretty impressive. Then I can go through the different menu options here on the right. But there's the heads up display. There's a push button start. And then finally, here's the key fob with remote start. And now for the fun part, let's go ahead and take this CTSV out on the road for a quick test drive. 